Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Weblog. We are Saturday, December the 12th, 2015. It's a little bit past 11.30pm and it's like the fourth time, fifth time I'm trying to record that shit. Uh, the first time was two hours ago and uh, I decided um, the last one worked even though it stopped on the on a sentence that was like not good to to end on I guess <laughs> um so yeah we're we're gonna forget about that and uh, I let myself like uh, f something like quarter of an hour 20 minutes to just let it just go back down because after the the recording failed I began singing mad world so yeah all around me are familiar faces worn out places worn out faces so yeah uh, tonight was was supposed to be the greatest night of my life kinda because th there's a uh, downtown a club uh, that's got a weeb night pretty much I mean it's li uh, uh, it's labeled as a Japanese electro night so yeah you can pretty much understand that it's gonna be weeb music all fucking night and the entry, entran, the entry, entrance fee was like 10 euros. Not, not that bad, really. Um, on, on the other hand, uh, I'm really sick and still and a lot tired. Uh, today was a testament to how not to to live your life correctly by me. Kinda. More on that later. Um. Also, I have, I, I mean, as a weeb, I'm kind of ashamed to say that I have nearly, I have hardly any items of weeb clothing. Like, I have probably one t-shirt that said uh, with the logo of uh, of the, the football club that Tsubasa, uh, in Captain Tsubasa plays in. So, yeah. Uh, talking about football, Germany is in the same group as... As Poland in the the Euro 2016, so that's gonna be a lot of banter. I think it has already started, you know, like uh, Hitler posting pretty much because 1939, man, it's never too soon. Um, yeah, France is in the group is in a group with uh, Alba Albania. Uh, Switzerland and Romania, so yeah, we're gonna get bullied hard. Um, England is in is with Wales, Austria with Hungary. Man, that's that sure took a historic turn. Uh, boy, howdy. So yeah, uh, why was today such a testament to about? I mean, I don't live my life correctly. Um, well, I slept for like three hours this morning, between 5.30 and 8.30. Um, I'm glad that I didn't oversleep on like this afternoon, uh, because if I had overslept, I would have not made it in time for the, you know, it was kind of a succession of uh, presentations. Um, but yeah, sleeping three hours made me the perfect uh, subject for experimenting the impulse, you know? the famous samples. Um, I tested it one and uh, it was pretty much what I expected. Uh, the taste is a little rough and but it wakes you up <laughs> uh, immediately you know you're like oh boy my big tongue is filling all of it huh? <sighs> um, made me feel pretty okay until noon after which point I was pretty much under, under the wind. Uh, so yeah, but we had a cocktail and you know crustless toasts with cheese and, and uh, why? Also gingerbread gingerbread with foie gras. Oh, the wine wasn't very good. Also, so yeah, uh, kind of a cocktail I would have um, avoided. I don't. I haven't tasted any kind of the the sweets that were there. So that's kind of my loss, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, I didn't feel really tired until I set foot in my apartment. Like, I f suddenly, uh, every move I made, I felt all my bones cracking when I 
I kind of stretched on my chair before eating my meal. I was like, oh boy, howdy. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I get up, so I get to sleep, huh? And um, I wanted to sleep like in the second half of the football match I was watching this afternoon. And uh, I always slept it to the point that I slept for the duration of a whole, uh, what, what could be technically the, the duration of a whole match. I was supposed to wake up around 6 p.m. I woke up woke up around 7 7:30. Um so yeah, but still kind of glad that I didn't oversleep this morning. Uh once I realized that um I thought I had bought plain chocolate uh, flakes uh Thursday night. Turns out uh it's kind of new to our taste. Fucking hell. So yeah, uh, not a lot of things that went right today. But, you know, while I'm saying, yeah, I could have met friends outside my university and all, I suddenly had this realization that despite the fact that it's going to be 18 plus, because it's in a nightclub, um, I'm going to be with uh, surrounded with weebs. And, I mean, it's not that I hate the, friend, the French weeb scene, the French weeb mentality but it's just that they are too otaku-esque I guess um, for a qu quite a while uh, weebs here were pretty linked with the emo community you know rar nozzles xdxd boy that's sure that sure is a kind of people uh, that I don't want to mingle with but if I find, a, if I had found a, you know, like a, what a, a patrician, I guess, would have been okay. Who am I even kidding? Uh, I, I am a pleb. There are no patricians in anime, uh, unless you watched uh, Geno Cyber and uh, other fucked up stuff like that from the 80s. <laughs> anyway. Um, tomorrow is the second round of the regional elections. I will probably be crying if the National Front wins. I mean, if they win one region, I will be pissed. Because, wow, wow, that at least uh, had the balls to, to, to face the, the ire of pretty much everyone on their side. Because, hey, you're, you're defending the other party? What are you doing? And still, you lost. Oh. I will be even more pissed if the National Front wins here. Uh, because, man, they, they are a shitty party. <laughs> anyway, uh, tomorrow is lots of things. The football match, the, the, the TLC, and, and literally no hype about TLC. Oh, I can get hyped for Roman Reigns versus Sheamus for the WWE United, uh, <laughs> World Heavyweight Championship. Boy, is that quite the main event? I like the League of Nations. Uh, their theme is pretty fucking cool, I gotta say. But besides that, it's kind of stale. Why would they put Alberto Del Rio, who is in a program with Swagger, and on, while on the other side, there's Dean Ambrose, who is in a program with a foreigner, a heel foreigner. Kevin Owens, namely. Made the Mex America break up for no fucking reason. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> yeah. One thing I hope is that they will finally open back the... The, the 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 train station in my village because I mean the building has been there for like century and a half or just a century but uh, it's been thirty years since the last time a train stopped the stopped here so it's it's kind of a shame because you know we need the train uh, there there are ads like hey may, uh, save a bit on your fuel take the train yeah I like I I'm gonna save on fuel by doing uh, 10 or 15 miles f to the nearest train station, fucking morons. You know, like, four stations on the whole department It's probably enough. Nah, it's not enough. 
Uh, yeah. So yeah, I said that I run errands. Um, lack of foresight is plaguing my uh, my wallet uh, because you know I years before the the, pr the previous years I would run errands for the whole week, so spend like fifty euros on the Monday night, and then I wouldn't get out of my apartment. And that was the cool life, I guess, because I'm independent, which means I can be a stay at home if I want. Fuck you, fuck your no your so social norms. So that's pretty much everything I had to say. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.